Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. Today in this video, I will show you, how to use printf debugging in STM32. I am using SW4STM32 IDE. I am not sure about any other IDE. Though, you can test it yourself. Printf debugging is very useful in Eclipse-based IDEs. As, these IDEs don't support live variable change. We have to pause the debugger, to observe the change in the values. Using printf, we can see the variable changes, without halting the CPU. I am using STM32F103 controller, but others should be fine too. First of all, in the serial debug, we have to enable the trace asynchronous SW. This is it for the setup part for CubeMX. Rest is our usual setup for the clock. Also make sure that this PB3 pin here, is not connected to anything. Or else, this will not work. Now generate the project and open it. Here are the instructions, that we need to follow. First of all, copy this command here. Go to project properties, CC++ build, click settings. Under GCC linker, click miscellaneous. We need to copy that command here. So, add a space, and paste it. Next, we need to exclude syscallc from the build. So right click on it, go to resource configuration, and click exclude from build. Next, we need to put this function, in our code. Make sure, you put it outside the main function. Next, we need to initialize the monitor handle, before we make any call to printf function. Now, I will create a variable, which I can increment during the printf. And I will name it, counter. Next, I am writing printf inside the while loop, so the variable can auto increment and, adding a delay of 500 milliseconds.
Next, compile the code, and debug it. Of course, we will have our usual problem of resetting. We need to do one last thing though. Copy the monitor arm semi hosting command. Go to debug configuration, startup tab, and paste it. Go to generator script, and set the reset mode to, software system reset. So, we are done now. Hit the start button, and observe the printf values. As you can see, we are getting the results, on the debugger console itself. The counter variable is incrementing, and everything is as expected. Let's reduce the delay, and make it a little faster. This is it guys. I hope it solves some of our problems, with the live variable watch. You can download the instruction file, and the code, from the link in the description. I don't know if it works with other IDEs, like Cube IDE. But, you can give it a shot. Thanks to all, who made donations to us. Have a nice day.